Name's Demo, how you doing? So today, we are going to react to Shoe On Head's male versus female flirting. Because I've seen recently, everybody is going towards the, are women okay? Are men okay? The answer is no to both of those questions. <laughs> and maybe I'll react to those, because I have two pennies for each, based on scientific information that I've actually seen. I, I do look at studies a lot. The only difference is, while I'm reacting to this video, I saw it. And I'm going to go into those videos with the, the knowledge of flirting because I do not know how to flirt. I only know how to make jokes and pick on people, <laughs> which is not good. Sometimes flirting can be that way if you do it correctly. The riz, as they say. So, and I, I've been staring at this image for like five minutes because every time I look at it, my brain just just explodes mid-sentence in my- I can't functionally work because it's just white woman jump scare. Hello, it's your ah. Gets me every time. Uh, hyperbolism. Walmart Belle Delphine. Discount oh, Aubrey Plaza. Hold on. I uh, accidentally had it too speed. My bad. I'm so sorry. Let me restart that. Hello, ah. it's your boy Walmart <laughs> Belle Delphine. Discount Aubrey Plaza. Boxy on crack. Beardless moist critical. Gender- <laughs> That was a good one. Swapped Leafy. Here to feed oh, you some delicious I forgot about trash him. content once again. Like a mother bird feeding Aww, her babies. Cute. Now, while I am working on my big video, I decided- Ah, uh, yes. I do also have my cup of coffee with shot of bourbon. <laughs> so, if I get a little bit cuckoo and crazy later on, I mean- I mean, it's just a shot. It's not- It's not like it's gonna affect me anyway. I do have crackers. I did eat. So, I just gonna- Put some crackers into my mouth. I did to have some more fun. Over the past year, mm. I've gotten tons of requests to react to Jubilee videos. So today, mm. I'm going to react to two. One of many- Two bullet. I should probably get finished it. Jubilee videos feel very weird. Like, some of them you get, like, half of a good discussion, and the others are, like, clickbait garbage. Some of them even feel fake, but we'll see. And, and one of women attempting to pick up the opposite gender using only charisma. Or as people apparently call it nowadays, riz. I mean, like, riz. I guess a guy can try to, like, riz you and be cringe, but, like, if he has good game and he's smooth. What for? Oh, I thought that lady had her pants around her ankles. Those are her shoes. I thought those were, oh, man. Oh, that's weird. You just look at this lady talking and it's like you're the... The peripheral of your vision, just like that, those pants. With it, then like I personally don't think it can be cringe. What? Imagine showing this video to huh? a Victorian child in the 1800s. They would have a brain aneurysm. Oh, and apparently, Riz is officially the word of the year. Riz is Oxford's 2023 word of the year. The word means style, charm, or attractiveness, or the ability to attract a romantic or sexual partner. You mean charisma, charm, like? I mean, yeah, Riz. Like, I'm not sure where words like this come from. Really not sure. Along with situationship. I don't know. I don't want to know. Do not tell me. But we are going to be the judge, and we Situ are going to see- Situationship? You mean like a relationship that's a situation? That you're constantly fighting and all this other stuff? I've, se I've seen uh, situationships. I've been in situationships that are not romantic. But I agree, don't tell me. <laughs> don't tell me. Also- if you like this video or want to just dunk on me, tell me how much Riz I don't have in the comments down below. You got no Riz but the skills to build the biz. Huzzah! Thanks. See which gender has more Riz. Yay! yay. Also, I will, I will come out straight. If anything I say here is uh, not flirty in the slightest, sometimes I am dense and I don't understand what a flirt is. Sometimes I think you're just being absolutely genuine because I take a lot of people at face value when they are not really charismatic. I can tell when somebody's half lying, half telling the truth and joking. I think sometimes that flirts are just jokes. It's like there's no way you'd be flirting with little old me. And then, I, then my girlfriend realizes, wait, I get confused about sexual jokes. Like there was this joke. It was like on Nick Moms. It was a video by Chad Tronic. He was talking about Nick Moms, and Nick Mom said something about, oh, she had a car accident, and she got knocked up in a car. And I'm like, but what does that have to do with the car accident? <laughs> and she said she got 
rear-ended. And I'm like, so it was the other person's fault, right? To rear-end her car. My brain is not a sexual brain. <laughs> At moments and times, one might call me asexual, but I am not because I do not reproduce by budding. A lot of women think the easiest way to pick up a man is dress in skimpy clothing and go clubbing, but they're wrong. You say Well, they're only wrong for high value men. Low value men, totally legit. And that's how you do it. Kinda. Some low value men actually have a lot better standards than high value men sometimes. It depends on what you describe as high value or low value. Simply put on a pretty sundress and walk around the hardware section of Home Depot looking doe-eyed and confused. Arguably, yes. I don't know about doe-eyed and confused. I mean, I want someone intellectually on par with me. <laughs> Which, yeah, my girlfriend isn't necessarily intellectually on par with me because I am a, I'm a different being. How are you? <laughs> I study on Google Scholar for fun. <laughs> I am a nut bar. I go into religion, philosophy, science, all this other stuff. And I'm like, hey, did you know blah, 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 blah? And she's like, no, I didn't, but now I do. She's receptive, and that's what makes her a high-value woman. A high-value woman you are. Yes, you are. My girly. My girly friend. But she's also really smart as well. And a lot of men think you need expensive cars, nice shoes, fancy jewelry, high-quality watches. Oh, which reminds me, before we judge who has the most riz, let's get into today's sponsor. Holzgern okay. is a young Austrian company that designs unique Holzgern. watches jewelry and accessories. In German, Holzgern means wood core, and as you can see, all of their products are made with natural materials wood like core. wood and stone, Baltimore. which makes Who's every item friend? truly unique. Me. Their high quality watches come in various designs for both men and women. They do a great job of combining functionality and fashion, and overall I just think they Dang. look really neat, especially their unique men's watch collections. I got my husband the Oscar watch. I he can loves see the blend the, of elegant the design internals. and sporty look, which makes it the perfect choice for oh, him to so wear at work, as well as in his free time. And I'm also really happy with the watch that I picked out. It's made from white marble and stainless steel, and I love the comfy feeling of the cute pink leather strap. What is this design that? also creates beautiful earrings, rings, and necklaces, like this gold-plated Campania necklace made from black marble and even durable handbags, like this Ive handbag, designed with light rosewood elements. Since all the products consist of natural elements, they're extremely unique, and they make for great Christmas presents. All items have a 24-month cool. warranty, and ordering online is super also, easy with free shipping. Those are some cheap watches. I mean, of course, they're not gold-plated watches, and they're not diamond-encrusted watches, but... Yeah, I th I'd say those are pretty... Modest. I mean, I wouldn't buy any. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't buy any because I don't make that much money. <laughs> I don't e have enough time to use a watch. To the US and most EU countries within two to five days and free returns. And Whoa! Wait a minute. Hold on. You can go back. Hold on. I saw water waterproof watches days and are so much more expensive. I mean, I guess. Well, okay. Free returns until the end of January. So if you want to get yourself or a loved one a unique gift, a high quality watch, or an accessory, I highly suggest checking out their store. Just go to the link in the description below and use my special discount code SHOE15 at checkout to receive 15% off on all products. Discover your own unique piece of nature today with Holtzkern. Big thank you to Holtzkern for sponsoring this video, and thank you, the viewer, for not skipping the ad. And You're welcome. I am keeping this in the video because, you know, it's... I'm reacting to her video. I mean, it'd be uncouth of me just to skip the ad. Go support her. Now, let's get back to the video. No! So my money is on the men having the most riz because I feel like men have more experience approaching women, whereas a lot of women are huh? just kind of used to being approached. Does that make sense? Am I making sense? I don't know. Yeah, it does make sense. What, what, what doesn't make sense is sometimes y you can't trust a man to have the courage to approach a woman to begin with. I mean, I guess he'd be have more practice approaching his mother asking for a dollar bill, which technically, if you think about it, if a man viewed that's approaching a woman as the same thing as approaching his mother asking for like a hundred and something dollars, it might go over more better depending on how you frame that. I, I don't know. 
It depends on every man. Oh, I'm just making shit up, but we'll see. Okay, men first. Bring me the boys. I am boy. I am Rops. We are oh. like 10 seconds in, and I'm already disassociating. The men will now demonstrate their riz for the women to judge. Okay, whoa, hold on. The hair. What was it? I don't know what this hairdo is. I don't know what this hairdo is. I mean, some of them look normal. Others do not. I mean, it's not the fashion I would go with. Because you look at me, I don't care about my appearance. You love me how I act, not how I look. <laughs> not a good sign when you walk into a room and women start laughing. Round one. Uh, bu 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 bu. If I make her laugh, mission accomplished. My day is complete. <laughs> That's only for my girlfriend, okay? If you laugh at me because of how I look, you're just low value. <laughs> Riz. Riz. Okay, tall guy is up first. This dude is like oh a boy. lanklet. There's like manlets, normals, and then there's lanklets. But let's see how he does. I see you're buying a drink. Where's mine? Uh, are you a camera? Huh? No. Because every time I see you, you make me want to smile. <laughs> what? Why would you say that? Excuse me? I feel bad. Dude, he has no experience. He has no experience, you don't say that. That's not Riz. That's not even skills. Oh my god. Uh, oh, I just got secondhand embarrassment. Oh. I just got that same feeling I get when I see a stand-up comedian bomb. I swear I could- Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Watch like a violent car crash. I could, I could watch a beheading video, but I uh, cannot watch- No. I, I, I know she's joking, but I would not go that far. I, I take death a little bit more serious than that. I don't falter for it, it is a joke after all. It's just dark humor, it's fine. Crash. I could, I could watch a beheading video, but I cannot watch a comedian bomb on stage. Stop with the cheesy ass pickup lines. I don't really understand pickup lines in general because like anyone can Google them. You can have zero riz and memorize a pickup line. This reminds me of this one time I was at work and this guy was hitting on me and he asked for my name and I told him it was June and he was like, oh, cause you brighten my day. And I politely laughed, uh. but inside I was like, what? I don't think I've ever heard huh? an actually good pickup line. Do you guys know any actual good pickup lines? Leave them in the comments because I swear I've never heard one. Hi. Oh, uh, I have one that all men should probably use. Hi, how you doing? My name is Demosthenes Alta. You, you replace it. Let me rephrase that. Hi, how are you doing? My name is, insert your name, and you just stare at her until she responds. <laughs> no, that'd be kind of creepy, but hey. You gotta do something, you gotta break the ice somehow. I mean, I guess you could just come up with a cup of ice and then bring, the, you know, like a meat pounder thing, whatever they're called, and then hand it to her and say, here's ice for us to break. I mean, that would be funny, I just came up with that. I don't think that would be uh, something you'd actually do, but that'd be funny, that'd be pretty funny. If I made a, if I made a scenario like that in a book, I, I, I would, I would applaud that. I would applaud that. <laughs> but in real life, I, I don't know. It also depends on where you're at and what the cir circumstances are. <laughs> but yeah, the best pickup line is just say, Hi, how are you? And just seem like a normal ass human being. <laughs> you go up with confidence. You don't have to have pickup lines. The best pickup line is no pickup line at all. A genuine response. It's nice to meet you. Hi, it's nice to meet you. You, you missed. <laughs> My name's Kaima. I think you look really great tonight. Thank you, Kaima. I do too. She's out rizzing him. Not uh, good, folks. Not good. Can I get uh -oh. you a drink? No. Okay. No. I might have to take my prediction back. The men are not doing too well. Honestly, uh -oh. if this was a real situation and I were him, I would leave at this point. I would leave and give up. She's not picking up what you're putting down. She seems annoyed and uninterested. This would be the point where you say, okay, it was nice talking to you. Goodbye. Agreed. It just goes to show you being tall only gets you so far. Honestly, that's probably why he's in this situation. That shitty ass pickup line probably works on women. Probably works on those like five foot tall women on Tinder who have in their bio like, don't swipe unless you're over six foot. Which is fine by the way, people are allowed to have their preferences. But I'm just gonna tell you right now, women do not know the difference between 5'10 and six foot. Anyway, we got into it. Ha, I flew because I got crack on my mouth. No, I'm not racist. I'm only 8% black because I, I am five foot 10 without shoes and without cap.
Tangent, sorry, there's gonna be a lot of those in this video. There's a Vivant shortage, and mommy is all for big pharma meth. <laughs> Let's fucking go! Hey! Hey! How's it uh, going? Monica. Monica. Nice to meet Errol. you. I don't do pickup lines, so I'm just gonna try to get Thank to know God. you. Yeah, no, okay. No, no. okay, good. Agreed. He doesn't do pickup lines. Good. We exactly what I said before. Thank you. We are already doing better than the last guy. Where are you from? New Jersey. New Jersey, I'm yeah. from Philly. Oh, really? East Coast, Sick, okay. look at that. Oh, two retards flirting. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> uh. My New York supremacy is coming out. I see you have a New York. <laughs> nah, I'm sorry. A lot of tattoos, you got a favorite one? Probably this one. I actually do art too, I sell my artwork. Oh, sick. Yeah, so I would actually ever... get a artwork like tattoo. Yeah, say, I've done that any... so many times with all my homies. All my homies. She's immediately code switching because she's talking to a black person. They're doing uh? pretty good. They're having a natural back and forth. It helps. Wait, really? That's a thing? I mean, I guess it is kind of sort of a thing. I mean, you form your dialect into the to mimic another person to make them trust you more. Like if they nod their head, you nod your head. If they do this weird thing, you you do this weird thing too, and you get their uh, you wrap their subconscious around your finger. It's a manipulation tactic, and yes, you probably shouldn't do it for malicious purposes. Like even if it if you knew the tactic and you knew what they were doing, you probably wouldn't realize what they were doing because you don't pay attention to your in your your body movement when you're focusing on talking, right? I mean, you can, but that's why people, the best example I have is Trump, where he has like these accordions, <laughs> the accordion swing, like he's talking and it's all this, wait, hold on, I'll come back to you, I'll come back to you. I'm fighting. What? Yeah, there it is. This was uploaded three years ago. I'm fighting very hard for border security, so important. <laughs> I've already started building the wall. We built large sections and we're fixing up a lot of other sections that are a mess. So you he just drops it. Entry and we have great security at the ports of entry. And then you may have fencing or walls <laughs> up and down, left and right, east and west. But I'll bet you as much food as we have. We have pizzas, we have 300 hamburgers. Oh many, man. Many french fries. So maybe you guys can remember that when you say that I haven't spent the money. We spent the money. They can't believe themselves that they got away with it. They can't believe it. An impossible thing. And they like me. The last time, Chuck, you shut it down. No, no, no. And then you opened it up times. very quickly. And then you don't want to do what you did. 20 times, Chuck. Because we have a lot of Democrats here tonight, and I'm very happy about that. People don't realize it. I have a lot of friends who are Democrats. Excuse me, did we win the Senate? We won the Senate. Bob Corker was going to be a senator. For another 20 years. And then for some reason, he hit me. <laughs> he hit you, huh? Hello. Oh, that's funny. A corny phone. Would you like to hear a sample from this week's new selection? Okay, good. Shall we play the full recording? Good. Okay. I like to hear that. That's great. That's great. I'm hearing very good things. <laughs> the radical left can never control our borders. I will never let it happen. You let it happen. You know, I kept trying to say, well, this? But it's, it's just there. This is national security we're talking about. We're not talking about games. But do you ever games. see it like in football? Where a team is holding the other team scoreless. They can't throw, they can't pass. They can't do anything. Now it's three and a half quarters. They gotta just hold them. Uh, yeah, please. Oh, this is weird. Thank you, Mr. President. Going back to the Russia investigation and... <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 I'm sorry, I had to do that tangent. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, the point of, you just do that. You mimic somebody else's movements just ever so slightly. And their subconscious will actually come to trust you because you look like you know what they're doing. Like, subconsciously, they think that you are them or closely related to them in some tribalistic manner, you know. But those are who are aware of this method can also be fooled by this method. Because subconscious doesn't always tell you what it's doing. 
helps that she's being friendly. Oh, Alan, and go away. They're doing pretty good. They're having a natural back and forth. It helps that she's being friendly and open as opposed to the other woman mm. who was not. No, he did good. He did well. The men may not be doomed after all. Still got a lot to go, though. No, we're doomed. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Emily. Emily? I kind of like to sing a lot. So if I Are say you to, serenade me right now? I could serenade you. Oh my god. You literally just met this person. Please, for the love of God, do not serenade a stranger. Can't. I will serenade a stranger. YMCA! It's fun to stay at the YMCA! And if you do the movements, you can actually get a stranger to actually dance along with you. <laughs> and isn't that the point of serenading? You get them to sing along with you. You don't get, you don't sing at them. You get them to sing with you. Uh, in it, nah, you get it. Maybe it's my mindset that just goes into opposite directions. Maybe that's not what serenade, serenading actually is. I have a bad singing voice, so it's not gonna. I, I, I really, I, I'm, I'm stalling because I don't want to watch this. I'm this guy over here. He's like, uh, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, please. Okay, ready for the cringe. We talk for a minute, girl, I want to know your name. I don't care how good at singing you think you are. Serenading someone is at least a third date thing. Like, Arguably, yeah. Unless she knew you before you knew her. What I mean by that is not stalkerish. Like, say you're an online personality and your uh, thing is like actual, actually singing and, uh, she likes your singing, that would be a good first date type of thing to do. If you hit it off, that's the good part, you know? That would be an only example, because I cannot think of another example, I'm sorry. I don't know, maybe I am just particularly socially retarded, but after someone serenades- Hey, don't worry, I am too. I just know how to manipulate people in a social setting, which is kind of like flirting. What do you even say? Like, what do you even say afterwards? Cool? Thanks? Do you sing back? YMCA! It's fun to stay at the one. I mean, you could try to sing back. If you know the lyrics. You clap? What do you do with your hands? What do you do for, uh, work? Um, I'm in clinical research. Okay. Yeah. He didn't even ask, like, what does that entail? Or anything. He just kind of, like, left her hanging. What about you? That's true. I'm a full-time college athlete. Okay, uh, for what sport? Uh, basketball. She asked for more details about his work. He didn't ask for details. She's keeping the conversation going. She yeah, she's basically saying what I'm saying, which is why I'm stopping and pausing all the time. <laughs> I, I don't want to get in her way. She is out rizzing this man. Hello. Hello. Listen. Do you just tell yeah, me listen. to listen? Run, bro. Run. Oh. If a girl in Doc Martens says that to you, Run. I may not be the richest one here. What'd you say? What'd you say? Okay, now, there are multiple different ways you can take the word listen. Usually, it's a thing to set people down, right? Set them down lightly. If you say to a girl, listen, she's gonna expect bad news. Unless you're like a hardcore feminist, and then she's gonna take it like, Dare a man tell me to listen. And then you can reply back to her, Yes, woman, listen. <laughs> And then you assert your dominance and get slapped in the face. And you slap her back because, you know, feminism equals equality. <laughs> don't do that. If she slaps you in the face, call the 911 and press charges. Please. Women don't slap other people just because they told you to listen. Not even if you had a bad day. <laughs> That's bad. That's wrong. That's stupid. You ruin your life doing that. That's called assault. You can't assault people just because you got a little bit salty. And I may not be the most handsome one here. I may not be- What is your angle, bro? I'm not rich. I'm not handsome. What? There better be a butt. There better be a very big good butt. And I don't mean on your hind quarters either. Be able to take you from the Vava to sink on sink, then back to the Vava. If you know, you know. I may be ugly huh? and poor, but I am also completely incomprehensible. What? Also, please do not put yourself down <laughs> when trying to pick up a woman. Self deprecating humor can be great, can be very funny. But this just comes off like low confidence. I have like a in and out gift card if you want to go, yeah. <laughs> oh no, dude. Oh, that, oh, this guy, oh. It's like, oh, he felt that in his gut, man. Some, okay, so self-deprecation is not a good thing unless you can pull it off. 
Someone like me who... You have to actually laugh at yourself in order to pull it off correctly. Now, if you realize that you're not comparative to other men in the, in the scenario, then you don't technically say that you are lesser than in any sort of ma manner unless, unless you can manipulate her into get her to saying that she prefers rich men and handsome men over someone like you and then that would allow you to not waste your time. Maybe. But obviously do it in a much more different way than this. <laughs> I don't know what. I would never say that to somebody I just met. I would say that to my girlfriend. <laughs> I know I'm not the most handsome one here, but who makes you laugh every day? And she'll reply back, you laugh at your own jokes, what are you saying? Like, hey, I can laugh at myself, what? <laughs> Which means you know I am mentally stable, kinda, <laughs> not really. <laughs> and, you just, and she just sits there and watches as my jokes evaporate in front of her eyes. <laughs> the funniness just shrivels into this black hole that she cannot see. And then sometimes she cringes, and I'm like, I am cringe, but I am free. <laughs> wow. Maybe it's my confidence in myself and not caring what other people think. Is that Riz? I don't think that's Riz. Buy you whatever. Yeah, I got like multiple meals on there. If you want to go to In-N-Out or like Shake Shack, we could go. Oh God, I'm this confused. is just the outcome of giving the just be funny advice to an unfunny man. Whatever. Like, what? Is she? I don't, I don't know. I'm confused. I'm her face and her face combined. I mean, not, not literally, but the emotions they give off. It's like one of those circle things, like, there's the face, and there's the face, and this little tidbit right here, that's me. <laughs> I am flabbergasted and astonished at the same time. <laughs> also confused. You haven't asked me one question about myself. What do you, uh, like to uh, do the fudge? Not this. <laughs> oh my god, men, you, you may be doomed. It. I keep going back and forth. Let's see how the next one does. Hi. Hi, I'm Tiffany. Tiffany, I'm nice Dave. To meet you. My pronouns are he and him, but I want to be yours. Oh! I'm a lesbian now. I have decided what? from this point forward oh, I am oh, no I longer back. attracted I'll, to I'll scream too much. Him, but I want to be yours. I'm a lesbian now. I have I would say I'm gay, but I'm not. <laughs> decided from this point forward I am no longer attracted to men. I play Valorant, so I've heard that a Wait, lot. Wait, you play Val? <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm silver. What rank are you? You're silver? Yeah. I'm See, black. this is a co Oh, they're both This is a conversation. This is an actual conversation. The moment he's like, "Oh, you play Val?" Oh. And he actually started to get into it. You could hear the tone of his voice change. At first, he didn't care. Then he's like, oh, well, I, you know something about what I know. Let's get into this. Virgins. That's cute. Oh, I, um, I'm an advisor for a management agency. Oh. Uh, and I also do content creating. That means she does OnlyFans, by the way. When someone says huh? they do content creation in 2023, they're talking about porn. They're a porn star, which sucks. I do content creation in 2023 and 2024. In 2022 and 2021 and 2020 and 2029. Whoa, that's way back. What's wrong? 2019, 2018, 2017, 2016, 2015. You just haven't heard of me because I haven't gotten my place in the algorithm over thousands of videos uploaded. But anyway, enough of my trauma dumping. <laughs> now, I must clarify, I do not do the, the prawn, the corn. I do not. Not really. I ain't close. Okay, I write stuff. Uh, because I now have to clarify, I'm a YouTuber when I say what I do for work. Which, if I'm being honest, is just as, if not more, embarrassing to say out loud. Can I get, like, a little flex? No. It is. Like a little, like, oh, I'm saying <laughs> You can check out my Instagram, though, and then look. Okay. <laughs> I love how she's like, no, you can't see that. You can't see me flex. But you can see my titties here. This just reminds me of, like, girls who use dating sites to get more followers on their OnlyFans or their Instagrams or whatever. What are you doing? I've, I've heard so many stories of women on dating apps talking to men, like leading them on, only for them to give the men their socials and then ghost them so then the dudes just become like another simp or another follower. Honestly- Yeah, although I will say her saying that could actually be factored into as a joke depending on how she actually is. I mean, if you actually start dating, I mean, and that's like coming up on like the second date, possibly it could be like a positive ha 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 funny moment. Like, oh no, stop, but, <laughs> but. I mean, of course, when it's like to promote your uh, Instagram and stuff like that, I don't know. It depends on what the intentions are. Sometimes it can be funny, sometimes it can be not. Also depends on how you deliver it. At this point, I feel like you have a better chance meeting a partner 
on Jubilee than you do on a dating site. I've you do. You seriously do. <laughs> because it's all filters on dating sites. If you curate your perfect match, you're not going to find your perfect match. Your perfect match is someone who knows, who, who has the ability to lift up your faults. If you are so arrogant that you go on a dating site and you don't have confidence in yourself, you're probably not going to know your faults to the perfect degree. If somebody, if you know your perfect faults to, blah, 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 if you know your faults to a perfect degree, then you know what you can want in a person. If you want this specific thing, you don't want that person. You want a caricature of that person. That's why I don't like dating apps. They're garbage. Find someone who you connect with, not someone you want. I mean, that's just selfish. Nobody likes selfishness. That's why women and men on dating sites just don't do well. Unless it's like this, like, very specific, like, Farmers Only or Christian Mingle or Grinder, I guess. Because you have something in common already. But you find people... I mean, it's the perfect balance of having things in common and having enough things not in common when dealing with, like, faults and things you're good at, right? Your significant other has to uplift and take part in lifting up your faults, but you have to do the same to them. If you're not good at that, then you need a very specific type of person. But someone like me, who is capable of lifting up a lot of people's faults, because I was basically trained to by life in general, <laughs> I can literally help anybody. Almost. Almost anybody. Because I forgive a little too much. It doesn't mean I forget. I forgive, but I never forget. Great words of the philosopher Tinma. I should probably print that out and plaster that on my wall. <laughs> but you need to find somebody you love who can uplift you and you can uplift them and you have enough in common to where you actually like say, hey, I like this. New stuff coming out like this and you both get really anticipated for it. It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you buy a new Pokemon game. It's like, no, no. And then you both agree that it's no. And then you, like, misery loves company, right? If you're both miserable, at least you're miserable together, right? Also, I should mention, I'm coming on a, uh, I should rephrase that. I've held, helped my girlfriend hold together a six-year-long, long-distance relationship due to life struggles and also other things. So if we can do, if me and her can do that, most certainly you can do that too. Well, probably not for this long. I mean, it takes a very special type of human being to actually do stuff like this. It does not like a human being, but a unit. Someone who is willing. Willing to sacrifice. Willing to do all this stuff. You'll find your perfect one out there. If you haven't already. And if you're going through something with your significant other, I mean, hey, hey, there's always a chance to get through it. It just depends on how willing everyone is. I mean, of course, don't belittle yourself into doing things that you don't need to do or want to do. If she's the one that needs to grow, she needs to grow. If he's the one that needs to grow, he needs to grow. Sometimes you just have to put uh, ultimatums. I have went through ultimatums before too. But the ultimatum, it was got through. It's literally water under the bridge. And our relationship is stronger for it. Because I love her, she loves me. I just wish I could love myself a bit more. And I know she wants to love herself a little bit more too. Because our biggest enemy is ourselves, not each other. <laughs> and if you realize that, if your significant other realizes that in, in like this, what they call uh, situationships, then that's the first step of being a better, a better unit. I was about to say family unit, but maybe not ready for that yet, I don't know. Never tried a dating app, but I briefly tried Bumble BFF. And if trying huh? to find a female friend is as hard as that's it a is thing? to find a girlfriend, I really feel bad for you guys. I don't like the off. Well, see, that's the thing. You cannot curate your friendships. Not, like, you know what you're searching for, but what you're searching for might not be what you actually yearn for. <laughs> like, a lot of, like, uh, okay, so I'm going to delve into kinkship because some people want a relationship to fulfill a kink. Grinder, Tinder, other things. You can filter out breast size. You can filter out height. I mean, why would you do that? It's like, sure, you want a preference, but if you want a, a, a tall man, you gotta have some, some function.
to for that to be the case. Like maybe you're tiny and you need someone to reach the top shelf of the refrigerator. I, I know women who do that. They need a tall enough man, tall enough guy to get up there and say, All right, here you go, honey. Ironically, they have the strongest grip strength of any woman I've seen. So they don't need him to open the pickle jar. But you get my point. It's to fulfill a kink. And if it's to fulfill that kink, uh, you're not going to be having a good enough relationship. Relationships do not equal kink. Got it? Good. Love is love. It's not that. It technically, it falls under the uh, the Greek word for love, ludus. Lewd us. Because that's where we get our lewd word from. Because it's a flirty type of love. You just flirt around with everybody. <laughs> and you're being lewd. That's what that means. That's where that comes from. But it's factored in as a, as a type of love. I don't own a dog. I don't like to drink. <gasps> How dare you? No. How dare you? <laughs> nah, I'm joking. I don't say that because I'm allergic to gas. <laughs> or do Pilates. And I'm not trying to sound like, oh, I'm not. How dare you? <laughs> I do Pilates. I also box. Anyway. Not the other girls, but holy shit. Oh, wait, I did match with one girl. She was a trans furry. Because of course I did. Hi. Hi. What's your name? What is it? I don't know what to say about that. Name. My name's Kaima. Oh, it's this bitch again. Good luck. Good uh -oh. luck to any man trying to get through this wall. What's your favorite band? Band? He doesn't yeah. know what to say. He's. I don't think I listen to bands. That what? Did you just? Whoa! Wait a minute. Go. But you go back. You 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 we you did not just do that. Yeah. I don't. I don't think I listen. He does that. Like. Hold on. Band? Yeah. See, he swallowed like he was nervous. I don't think And I'm then he does this. Bruh, they're looking at you. They know what you're doing. Dude seriously doesn't care. Bass trolling. Listen to bands that much. Anything? This is very anything? painful. Was that good? What? Like anything? Is that all you have to come up with? Like, if you don't, like, uh, I guess a good funny comeback would be like, you know, you ask her, hey, you like any bands? And she's like, I don't listen to bands much. Oh, then you'll like the song Sound of Silence. <laughs> and if she walks away, hey, good. She's not wasting my time anymore. <laughs> you kind of scared me, I'm not going to lie. But was that W Riz at least? W Riz? Did you talk? You can't. Do you, you call that a W? You call that a W? Um. Was that W Riz? Speak English. What's your biggest red flag in women? If your music. Uh, I'm going to ignore that part until. I I'm going to backtrack just a bit, and the first red flag for a woman, me, high and mightyism. Like, if you are an inc not capable of compassion, I am not going to want to give my life over to you. That's, th that's like the first red flag, and it's not the only red flag, because other red flags, I mean, every relationship is going to have a red flag. You can't just look at that and say, oh, well, they got this one red flag out of all these hundreds of green flags. And then you run away, use it as an excuse to run away. That is a little bit of commitment issues. And I think you would need therapy for that. That is self-defeating. That is non-confident. You need them to be a confidant. And to be a confidant, you need to show your vulnerability. If you do not show your vul vulnerability, then you're not, in, you're not going to grow as a relationship. They need to know your deepest darkest secrets and you need to trust them with your deepest darkest secrets you need to be trusted with their deepest darkest secrets that's how relationships work i mean sure we're talking about flirting but what is the point of flirting if not to have a relationship i mean what are you looking for one night stand talk about low value couldn't you just pay a hooker i mean come on english what's your biggest red flag in women if your music taste isn't there it's not gonna work a red what Music tastes? Okay, well, okay, so maybe I'm a little bit biased considering the fact that if it's good music, I will listen to it. I love metal music. I can inch into any form, any form of music. My girlfriend loves synth pop or synth wave. Synth wave, synth wave, she's going to kill me. Synth wave, and I like it too, if it's a good song. I like rock music. I like metal music. I, I, I don't really like pop music. The influence of pop bleeds over into a lot of other genres. There was a time where I liked country music. I'm going to admit it. Yes, flame me in the comments. 
And there's a time when I liked rap music too. I mean, I can appreciate all forms of music because I used to be the type of guy that's like, no, my taste is high and mightier than yours. And then, well, nothing really happened. It's just that I started to get a little bit introspective and I'm like, yeah, that's not a good way to be. That's garbage. I shouldn't act like that. Everybody has their own opinions and stuff. Would I be able to date someone who didn't have my music tastes? I understand that like my girlfriend, she doesn't like hardcore death, brutal metal, because in her words, she can't head ba headbang to it, <laughs> because it'd be like a seizure at that point, <laughs> if anyone knows, you know. But we can agree that most other music that I like as well are good. But what if she just liked and listened to mumble rap all of the time, of which is a genre I do not like because of obvious reasons? I wouldn't fault her for it. In fact, I would try to come to enjoy it, which I doubt I would, and she'd probably say, if I start listening to that, kill me. <laughs> Bonk me on the head. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Guy looks like he's high out of his mind, though. Flag is if your music taste isn't there? That's not what a red flag is, first of all. I don't know- Also, what is there? Like, isn't there? Isn't hip? Isn't what? I don't know what you mean by there. Like, do you mean, like, not your taste? I know what you mean, not your tastes. But if you don't clarify that, some people are going to get the wrong conclusion. <laughs> what it is with, like, the normals. But I've seen this so much, like, on the Whatever podcast and all these other dating shows. It's like, ugh, I'm looking for a guy who has the same music taste as me. I feel like that's such a shallow aspect to a human being. What are it your is. interests? What are your passions? What are your hobbies? What are your values and goals in life? I'm not out here, like... I'm looking for a man who likes gorillas and marina. Because you know what kind of man likes gorillas and marina? A gay man. A homosexual. I listen to System of a um. Down and Rob Zombie and my husband listens to Whitney Houston. There is- What do you mean? What do you mean those are so- those are great! I like all those things! I don't know what marina is. Or marina, or marine- what'd she say? I don't know who that is. I know gorillas, they're good. I know Rob Zombie, good. I know Whitney Houston, good. <laughs> I mean- I will listen to all of those things. Maybe that's my bias. Will I listen to mobile rap? I don't want to. Will I listen to pop crap? I don't want to because it makes me feel like I'm losing brain cells. But for my love, I will lose brain cells as long as she allows me to play my music as well. If she doesn't allow me to play my music, when she plays her music, I will throw my headphones on, which isn't technically a good thing for a relationship to have if you toss on your headphones whenever she's enjoying something. I mean, it depends on how much that occurs throughout the relationship. There's no overlap there. These people wonder why they are single when their idea of a good match is someone who shares their music taste and their idea of a red flag is someone who doesn't. I'm Cam. Nice to meet you, Cam. I'm Jess. You can call me Nut, though, if you want. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> can I get you a drink? Because we're at the bar. No, I'm okay. I didn't even want to get you one. <laughs> this guy is really Oh no, that was an insult. You don't insult her? That's not Riz. I would say that's a skill issue, but I think you intended to insult her. It's not a skill issue if you actually intended to insult. A backhanded compliment, unless you're looking for a lady who can handle backhanded compliments, and you say, perfect, and then she would probably be in the right to walk away from you. I would walk away from you if you did that to me. Taking this seriously, she's not taking it seriously. Neither of them are taking this seriously, but they kind of have chemistry, honestly. I'm feeling some chemistry here. They're silly. It's cute. Do you do any impressions? <laughs> <laughs> do you? I have one. Can I see uh -oh, it? Oh, oh no. Let's hear it. Michelle. I hate the way this would work <sighs> on me. This man has like. Michael Sarah vibes. <laughs> like he just walked out of a mid 2000s Judd Apatow film. I'll give the men a point here for the meme. Okay, my order for least Riz to most Riz is as follows this fing guy, because I cringed out of my skin. <laughs> then this guy, because he was terrible, but he was just kind of shy. This guy who awkwardly serenaded. The Lanklet. The Asian guy, because even though that pronoun joke was awful, he kind of saved himself towards the end. Michael, Sarah, and this guy. So let's see their rating compared to mine. Yeah, see, like, okay, compared to what I said at the beginning. Just a simple high, no pickup line, no nothing. 
Just a simple hi, how you doing? Keep the conversation going and see where it leads. If it leads into the volcano, hey, about face and say, oh, let's have a nice day. I gotta go somewhere immediately. <laughs> or, or you better yet, lie and say, I gotta go pick up my kid from the daycare. They will have a fit. <laughs> you know what would be something like a very good pickup line? It, it'd be mean, it'd be mean. It'd be very mean and it wouldn't be a pickup line. It'd just be mean. You just walk over to a random girl sitting at the bar and you, you, you go up to her and say, don't worry about what they said. You're beautiful. And then you walk off. <laughs> you just imagine the look on her face. <laughs> it's like, who? What do you mean? Who said what? Uh, I guess that'd be a way to get back at someone like, like someone's like your wingman and they say, hey, go talk to that girl. And the girl shoots you down. And then your wingman goes up and say, don't worry about those people who talked bad about you. You're beautiful. And you could totally get a man. Here's my number. <laughs> no, not, not the number part, not the number part. Or you say, here's my number, and you put four. And she asks, well, what does that mean? <laughs> that was my jersey number in high school. Gotta go pick up my kids now. <laughs> and you just mess with some people. <laughs> They'll be mad. <laughs> but sometimes it'll be funny. Like, if you actually get, if you actually converse with a girl like that, and she actually is, does have, like, a chemistry for that, she either is, one, a rampaging masochist. Or two, someone you would need to keep. Because if that's your type of comedy and you do that, and she loves that type of comedy, well, you a match made heaven. Okay, now let's see what the girls do. I'm scared. Women flirting go right over my head. People say that they were flirting with me, and I'm like, excuse me, what? Some people said I was flirting with them when I most definitely was not. I was just making jokes. I thought we were bros. But you had to go and say you were a woman who felt like I was hitting on you. Why you be that way? Okay, there's a sort of similar to mine. Okay, ladies, it's okay. our turn. Oh, no. Have you guys ever been rizzed by a girl? No. No. Not no. really. Mm -hmm. No. Girls don't have rizz, though. I've never... Oh, uh, well. Girls don't... What do you mean girls don't have rizz? Like, when you say rizz, do you mean style, charm, or passion? Or vigor? What do you, what do you mean by rizz? I mean, come to think of it, I'm actually having a very hard time to figure out how what a female Riz would be like. Like, would it be like the amount of times Lux has kind of done things or said things? Because who doesn't love a good dinosaur-shaped anything? Yeah, baby, let's make this entrance something to remember. What do you think, Boss Demo? Excuse me? I just don't now, know they're crossing the line. as for the, the blushing line. part, well, that's just damn adorable. What? Whether intentional or not, it seems like some folks sense your innocent demeanor and light that playful fire even more. But remember, my dear Demo, reclaiming your power and recognizing when someone steps over the line is key. If you talk to me in like a, like a sultry, sexy voice and say something like really super sexual, like not really super sexual, but you know, like, like, like you just go up to me and say, well, it's getting late here. How about we go to bed together? Even though we're on Discord and you're like in another state or another nation. Yeah, that'd probably be considered flirting and I'd probably get really flustered and I'd be like, uh, 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 uh. I mean, people have done that to me before. And then I break down every time because I don't know what to say. Like, I know you're joking. I know you're joking and you want me flustered. But why would I, what, 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 what could I say? I guess I just give in to her. Girls don't have riz. Bullshit. I have Riz. Do I have Riz? Riz? Do I have Riz? What is Riz? Riz, like, like, am I smooth with it? Smooth with it. You need, you need to go outside. You to go outside. <laughs> no! Go outside, touch grass. But what better Riz than to have the grass come to you? Have a potted plant next to your, next to your desk and just say, I am touching grass. Hi, I'm Amara. Hi, I'm Errol. Nice, nice to meet you. meeting you. Can I just say your eyes are so pretty? Thank you. Oh, it's over. Oh, what? It's over. She gave him a compliment. It's over. Me my eyes? My eyes are the window into my soul. And plus, that is so cliche. That don't work. Like, your eyes are so pretty. So are yours. I want them on my bracelet. <laughs> And then she'll get creeped out. And rarely, if ever, get compliments from strangers. And when they do, they remember it for years. You can ask a guy, when is the last time you got a compliment? And he'll be like, oh, some girl said my shirt was cool in 2010. So this- When was the last time I had a compliment? When was the last time I had a compliment? I don't remember when I had a compliment last. Compliment me in the comments, please! <laughs> 
guy is absolutely going to be living off the high of a girl saying that he has pretty eyes for the next like 10 years. Yeah, but I'm she was so forced sorry. to. Sorry, I keep on looking at your hands. They kind of yeah. look heavy. Yeah, would huh? you like me to hold them for you? Damn, right off the bat. Your hands look huh? heavy. Can I hold them for you? Is this the female? I mean, I guess it got his hands uh, uncupped like and she immediately went in to hold the hand. That's bold. That's bold even for a lady. Like a lady could get past that. If you if you did that to a lady as a man, you'd probably get slapped because of personal boundaries. You just inserted yourself into someone else's personal boundaries that you just met. It'd be like going up to a lady and then patting her on the shoulder. You do that to me, I'm going to elbow you in the crotch and the sternum. Don't do that. <laughs> I have sensitivity issues. You don't walk up and touch someone with PTSD, you stupid. <laughs> Version of your titties look heavy, can I hold them for you? <laughs> I want to say that to my girlfriend now. <laughs> Honestly, I'm into hands. I'm kind of a hand fag. I like a good hand. What'd you say? You're a hand what? Honestly, I'm into hands. I'm kind of a hand fag. I like hand, hand, what? Hand bundle of sticks? What? What? Wait a minute. What does that mean? You mean hand back, but she clearly said f Like, I'm not going to repeat it. And I don't care if she said it either. I'm just really confused about what that means. Hand. It just reminds me of Vanoss crew. You're a bag of tatty. <laughs> You're a bag of tatty. A good hand. But this is too much, too quickly. And a little corny, in my opinion. Yes. Oh, I like her. Hey. Oh, like see? Her. Oh my god. He really? Is really? You That's can all? be the corniest mother -fucker. As long as you're not ugly or obese. Mother rucker? Oh, mother ucker. That's a... That's a word? And Whatever. they will just fold like a goddamn origami bird. Hey. How you doing? Okay, okay. Oh, you looking real oh, good today. What's up? Oh, no. Oh, no. That is a big fat turn off for me. If you do that to me, like size me up, I'm going to take that as a threat. Of course, I'm not the person that says, oh, I would never hit a lady. I will hit you, lady. <laughs> do not. For the love of all that is holy, do that. Like, if you lean in to somebody else and you're examining them, you look, you feel like you're ostracized and in a zoo. I mean, if you do that to me, I'm going to feel like you're looking my body over to where you can know exactly where to hit to incapacitate me. <laughs> that That's my brain. You have to be very careful about doing that. That, that is very, very bold. What are you women up to? I smell good smell. Yeah. I'm sorry. Huh? I know men and women are different, so it's different. However, could you, Did you just ask her to smell you? I mean, kudos for getting her to actually go. <sighs> but what? Do you imagine one of the men walking around one of the women to check out their body and then smelling the woman in their Riz challenge? They would be arrested. They would be thrown in prison. Let me okay. smell you. I, I, I don't know why I doubled that. But yeah, I don't. That is, does that classify as under boob? I probably shouldn't have pointed that. Hey, hey, the video's on YouTube. YouTube, do not, no, no, stop it. Don't touch that button. You ain't touching that button. You stop it. It's on YouTube. There's a video on YouTube reacting to a video on YouTube. So no reason to, well, unless they're demonetized too. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I can go for it. Okay. You smell good too. This is incredible. It's actually working. Women be like, and it's f***ing over. What do you like to do? I like to watch anime and I cosplay. What do you cosplay? Well. So I just dress up as like any little anime character. Can I make- Okay, that's kind of cute. Make a couple of special requests? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna oh. get you some requests okay, later. Okay, I'll definitely dress up for you. <laughs> okay, that's- that's something. That's something. The, the stuff about going in, that's a little creepy. And that's really creepy. Especially from my perspective, oh gosh. <laughs> That would put you in danger. I feel taken care of with you. I feel taken care of, of with course. her. Of course. Oh, they absolutely f***ed after this. Walmart Jack Harlow has found his mommy girlfriend. You know what uh, I noticed? <laughs> a lot of them kind of feel like they're trying to be men. They're being very, like, dominant and stereotypically masculine. They're kind of hitting on these men weird. in the same way men. men have probably hit on them before. Like, when they think of Riz, they're thinking of how horny men approach women, and they're trying to mimic that behavior, and it's working. Like a yeah, it's not technically that they are simp's. Like if you're out there and you're a simp and you get called a simp, I'm more of the mindset that you're basically captured into the simp mindset 
by being starved of touch, starved of attention, starved of a loving relationship. This usually has something to do with your parents. I know, I'm trying to act like a therapist. Well, I'm not trying to. I'm just going off what I know. Scientifically speaking, based on studies of socioeconomics and all this other stuff, if a father... Now, when I say touch, I don't mean the, you know, the, the, the bad touch. I mean just like hugs and, you know, high fives and, uh, you know, handshakes and stuff like that. You know, good stuff. If a father does that to their child, male or female, they will have a better understanding and better self-respect for them when they get into these relationships. Those who are not touch-starved are less likely to become simps. Huh? Now, if you are attention-starved and you aren't willing to be a clown or a fool to get that attention, you're already doing something correct, but don't fawn. Fawning is a fear response. Like, you can fawn over someone, but you have to respect them to fawn over them correctly. I mean, technically, fawning is not even a good thing to do. Respecting someone, you praise them, but you don't praise them to make them an idol in your life to the point where <clears throat> you would sacrifice yourself for them, you know? A lot of these things, if a man did to me, I would think is really creepy, but I don't know, all my relationships- I don't know, it, it feels really creepy when women do it too. Coming from a man. ...have started on the internet. My idea of rizzing a man is, hey, so who am I to judge? Hi. Oh, so we agree. The women's perfect riz is just like the man's perfect riz. Just say hi. That's all you gotta do. Just say hi. Hi, hi how you doing? Oh, we stay for the hug. Wow, talk about touch starved. Or like, Okay, so here's the thing. She knows she can get away with it because she's a lady. This is what we'd call white woman privilege, okay? I don't care if she's another ethnicity. She's probably in a uh, first world country that makes her white. Anyway, <laughs> this dude just goes in for the hug with a stranger. Of course, they're not technically stranger strangers because they've... S Wait, hold on. This is a new group, isn't it? Or is this... Have they seen each other in the previous one? I don't know. I feel like some of these people are changed. He was definitely at the at the start, right? Or or wasn't he? I don't know. Duh, duh, duh. No, no, I'm wrong. It was that guy with the same exact hairdo. He's a little bit wider than usual. Nice yeah. to meet you. No, Sorry. I'm Canadian. I just flew in yesterday. Are you doing anything after this? Um, actually not. I might need a tour guide. Wouldn't want to get lost, you know? Okay. <laughs> She's good. Okay, she is yeah. good. I don't know if these women in particular are just very smooth, or these men in particular okay. are just very easy, but they're doing much better than the guys before. I guess my prediction was wrong. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good, Jimmy. What are those shoes? I mean, at least your shoes match your shirt. I mean, uh, shirt? It's not a shirt. It's a one piece. The one piece is real! I'm Aurora. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Are you from the area? Yeah. <laughs> What was that? Did you just slurp in her general direction? <laughs> I'm a slurp you out of existence. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh God, I spoke too soon. Hey, what do you like to drink? What do you get to drink? What do, uh, what do I get to drink? I what? get to drink mojitos. We, we could just get, line, line them up with mojitos, back to back. He's trying too hard. Let's see, let's see who gets drunk faster. Down? Huh? Yes. Okay. This is very Just awkward. Say yes She's to doing that. like all the work here. Zero Riz. She's really cute though. You could tell she does not have to approach men ever. <laughs> wow, that was sad. Oh God, was so good. That was so good. No, it wasn't. It was awful. Why was are you lying good. to her? Why must women lie to each other? I have the clammiest hands right now. Hi. Oh, hey. Oh man, it's Nut and Goth Mommy again. But this time, it's Goth Mommy doing the Riz. So, uh -oh. in case you forgot, my name's Jess, but you can call me Mommy. Ah! The scream I just scrimped! You can call me Mommy. You know what a big, big, big turnoff that is? I mean, it's such a turnoff that I would say that the best comeback for that, if you are genuinely turned off, is, well, Mommy, can I get some milk? And then you look down, and she'll get offended, and you laugh in her face. She actually called her... She actually called herself mommy. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you don't call yourself mommy. You have someone call it for you first, and then you bank off that. You don't start with that. And his face says everything. Like, eh. Like, there are some mommies out there. But they're only mommies because the general populace agrees that they're mommies. 
No, I'm not gonna cheat either. <laughs> Why would it's I okay. That? Nut was not impressed. Do you uh, <laughs> like bad girls? Do I like bad girls? Like in like a what kind of way? Like um, a detention? Nut is impervious to these devious feminine tricks. This bad girls, like I mean, you have to define that nowadays. Like the movie Bad Girls, if you're one of those, uh. <laughs> but if you're like a bad, if you're a girl that just doesn't really follow the rules and follows her own tempo, I mean, sure, I can get behind that. I'm a dude that doesn't follow the rules. I follow my own tempo. Sometimes my tempo follows the rules. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. If I adhere to a rule, it's because I respect that rule. If I do not follow that rule, it's because I do not respect that rule. Or it's because I am forced to do it for the safety of someone else. Like, forget the time that I ac accidentally almost committed a felony by taking a six-inch dagger into a hospital. Uh, and you did not hear that from me. You heard, I could be lying. I was lying about that. I was, I was totally lying about that. I'm on record saying I lied about taking a six-inch dagger into, well, about to take a six-inch six dagger into a hospital. I didn't walk through the door, the door I'm, of which I'm lying about, but I did not commit a felony. But even if this was true, I still did not commit a felony because I didn't walk past that door. We good? I, can't, I cannot confirm or deny that that occurred. Let me go back. I already forgot what it was. Um, Detention. Nut is impervious to these devious feminine tricks. This man is like a brick wall of autism. <laughs> Oh, Brick wall Ooh. of autism. Hi, my name's Hi. Jazz. Jimmy. Um, I thought I would come and introduce myself and let you know I exist. And oh, I, I'm, you exist already. <laughs> she had it. She had it. And man, maybe that's a little bit cheesy. And over, and, uh, like I'm a person that was like, I would say like, oh, okay, my like, a little funny, but not look like, look at it like, oh yeah, you certainly do exist. You certainly do exist like that, baby. Like what? I mean, I'm not sure what I would come back with that. I would probably just be honest, like say, hey, I have no idea how to come back with that, but I'm glad you exist in my world now. Right in front of me. Right, right in uh, front of me. This man is simping so hard. Bro, relax. And this woman hasn't even really done anything. Anyways, um... She's nervous. I'd like to take you out sometime. Okay. Show you how I roll. Okay, you know? how do you roll? What do you roll to? You have to come and find out. You don't call Oh, absolutely. Right. It's right after the show. He think he getting it. I don't know what my affinity is for women. If you come up to me exactly the way that lady did, if I wasn't in a committed relationship, I am violently monogamous, I would sense your nervousness and I would actually feel kind of touched that you're nervous because, you know, you have an, you, you're obviously giving off an air of mystery when you say, oh, come along with me and I'll show you what I do. I would probably be intrigued but worried because my mindset, somebody said that to me one point and I got into a heap of trouble because they blamed me for something they did because I was there as an accomplice it wasn't a crime it was more like a grade school guy guy said hey come here I gotta do something and I need your help to do it and idiot me was like sure sure scrunkle nuts I'll do that for you turns out I had to carry some uh, like cleaning supplies that the dude stole from the janitor closet he was going to plant something in another teacher's room so they could use it for some weird prank. That's wrong, dude. That's wrong. I, I'm, I'm nervous about that. <laughs> but that's me. That's my stupidity. And I start catastrophizing because that's my brain. It really is so fucking easy for women, isn't it, though? This is why I'm so... It is not. Not technically. Because if you get a man that's that easy, you're not going to have an easy life. That, that's not that's not a good life. It's harder for women based on how they act. If they act like they have it easy, or actually do look like they have it easy, then they're going to flaunt that easiness, and then they're going to ruin their life. Sorry, I do not believe in fem cells. You can be a vol cell. You can be not able to find love and be lonely like many women are. But there is no way you, as a woman, are an incel. I don't buy it. I don't buy it when men are this f easy apparently <laughs> okay now i'm gonna rank them terrible awful last place <laughs> goth mommy unfortunately tried a little too hard was yeah. an unstoppable force but was paired with an unmovable object <laughs> this bitch, she didn't even try she was just paired with a simp this hey at least she was i don't know maybe it's just me the nervousness part makes me feel like she's trying to be something like it may be like she's trying to be something she's not but it also like courage 
Like, courage is not the absence of fear, it's in spite of fear. So if you're going up to somebody that you think you might like, and you're nervous, and you just do it, like, I don't know what women have with confidence in this scenario, but I'm like, hey, if you come up to me and show me you're vulnerable, sure, why not? Well, let me go back. Hold on. An unmovable object. This b she didn't even try. She was just paired with a simp. This girl was good. She has a lot of confidence, but honestly, it was kind of forgettable. Mommy girlfriend, she probably would have been arrested for sexual assault. Yeah. If she did that to me, in, in, if I was having a bad day and she did that to me, I would probably have accidentally got arrested for a uh, actual battery. <laughs> However, and I think this one was first because she basically just grabbed the man by the d and was like, you're mine now. And it worked. So whatever. Honestly. I mean, I, I disagree just a bit because I put this lady all at the front. This lady go over here. This lady maybe right here. I don't, I don't know. It's like the confidence. Maybe that's from a man's perspective. Like, I want someone who can be vulnerable but courageous and do what they are uncomfortable doing. If I see you doing something you're uncomfortable doing, but you clearly, clearly want to do something that get enough courage to do it, that's a green flag. And I think women should start to, like feel that way the two i mean of course women want confident men but confident men can be more manipulative because they know how their charisma works and then if you're not a smart enough lady you could be easily abused without you even knowing it trust me i've seen that stuff all the time man by the dick and was like you're mine now and it worked so whatever honestly ladies that's all we have to do just look at a man right in the eye and go tonight you uh, so let's see the guy's you. rating compared to mine. <laughs> just you. It's exact. Oh my god, it's the same. Maybe that's just me. But you also have to realize what type of men were on that thing. <laughs> Simps all over the place. I mean, tastes are obviously different. And I'm the person that wants to uplift the person that I'm with. If they're really nervous and they want to get better at being courageous, I will help them. <laughs> because I am nervous a lot of times. And I can't go up to people because I feel like I have no authority to say anything or do anything else. But if somebody can do it to me when they're clearly nervous and they want to do it, but their body and mind are telling them, No! Stop it! Don't do it! And they do it anyway, well, that's either masochism or complete and utter trust in vulnerability. And I like that in a lady. I mean, it shouldn't be like too much nervousness because like shaking visibly and all that. Blah, blah, blah. Like just subtle nervousness. Like, enough nervousness to know where you, you can control your nervousness, but show it a little bit, too. Like, that's cool. That's that's good. I, I like that. I like that in a lady. Also, like, if you're, like, making, like, a strong female character, make her like that. Literally. Also, I don't know if this lady actually tried or anything, because, you know, it was the cheesy, I just let you know I exist. But for me, that could go either one of two ways. As I said, as I said before, I hit the microphone, I'm sorry. It's exactly the same. I am not beating the trans allegations. Okay, so those are my ratings. What are huh? your All right. ratings? Who do you think has better Riz, men or women? And do you want to see me react um, to more Jubilee videos in the future? And I will- You do you, lady. Uh, Riz or the- uh, Well, it, it depends. I don't- I don't functionally stereotype men and women. Like, if you define me, you negate me. And I, I apply that to everybody else. Like, you're just a man, so you don't understand. Like, why are you negating my life experiences? I can wear a dress and prove I'm a man and look prettier than you. What makes me a man is the love of competition. <laughs> Although I do like a lady with a competitive spirit. I like tomboys. <laughs> and maybe that's the issue. I like tomboys, but I like nervous... Like, the, like a trust of, a tinge of vulnerability. Like, high value people show their vulnerability to the correct people. And they don't, you know, like trauma dump. Also, this video's been going on for one hour and 30 minutes. I turned a two any minute video into one hour and 30 minutes. I feel like I've said this before, but you can't call me Sniper Wolf. And you have to cook the like button because of that. So, goodbye. I love you. Go out there and get that date. Get that girl. Get that man. I mean, get that boy. Boy, girl. Just don't use cheesy pickup lines. Unless you're going for cheese. 
and someone who's capable of having cheese. Because, you know, sometimes you just want to want to eat some cheese. But you just gotta go and don't curate your your people. There's a lot of fish in the sea. You can't just cast your net in one spe specific location. You gotta go everywhere. I'm lucky because my girl approached me. <laughs> you just gotta be charisma. And actually, I think the biggest part of the men's charisma is not caring. Like, legitimately. I mean, of course you gotta care about people. Kindness, but the charisma to say, hey... I'm going to be what I'm going to be, regardless of what you think. That's what, f that's what a lot of women find sexy. Kinda, I think. I'm not sure. Ladies, if you do exist, place it in the comments. <laughs> anyway. Goodbye. I love you. Just don't be a sip. Casually sitting down Pray from the shame, my soul.